In Next.js 13, we can use what we call layouts. Those layouts help us to deconstruct all the components under the roots that we've got to inject some style to change the presentation. Let's give an example. So here I got my folder app and I got those, this layout.csx at the root and I got this global.css file which is coming here injecting my tailwind. If I come back to the page, I can see here that I got all the CSS code uh, coming actually from global.css. And if I go to the page, for instance, slash about, we can see here that I still got the CSS. Well, basically it's coming from the layout because on top of this layout, I injected actually the global.css file. So let's say that I would have this first style global.css and let's say that I would like to create another style that I would like to inject, for instance, on the about page that I got here. What I could do is just to create an about.css file. And let's say that in this about.css, I'm going to uh, put a background red on the body. Here on my main page, so I'm going to come back on my main page, I would like that the background stays black. So I just want to have the, the, the layout with the about.css on another layout, okay? So what I would do is to go to about, and remember I told you in a previous video that to create a, a new page, you have to use page.tsx, okay? But here in this folder, I can create a new layout also, okay? And when I got this new layout, actually, here, Next.js is going to understand that on the page about, I'm supposed to display this layout. So if I type about, what's going to happen here is that I got an error. Why? Because my layout.tsx is empty. I got to write here, actually, the layout code. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to look at the layout and basically I'm going to do exactly the same as here using children, the props children. So I'm going to come back here and I can close all of this and I'm going to write my layout.tsx of the page about. So I'm going to type export default function and here it's going to be, for instance, about layout. Okay, and here what I'm going to return, but well, I want to return exactly the same as before. So the HTML with a body and inside here a children. Let's say that we're going to start by doing this and we're going to look at it. Children here has to come from my props. So I'm going to deconstruct props, which is up here, and I got my children coming from here. Now I got to determine the type of children and exactly like we have on the layout auto-generated with your project, we can type exactly the same, react, react, node. And there we go. Okay, so what I want to do, let's say that I would like to have a header before the body in here. So I'm going to remove this here. I'm going to go here and put a header. This is the about header here, and I'm going to save. All right, now I'm going to come back here and on the page uh, about, I got finally my header and my page about. I'm going to inspect this quickly. And what I can see is that, so I'm going to zoom a little bit for the code. I'm going to move there. Here we see that I got my header and uh, my um, page about, which is injected here with my head and my body. Okay, so if I come back to the main page, I don't get the header because I'm not using the same layout. So you can create a layout on every folder where you got a page. This is a, a kind of file that will be created um, everywhere in every folder that you want to put a layout to. And you can inject what you want at this step. So let's say that here now I want to import my CSS coming from here. And here is going to be about.css. I'm going to save this. Now let's come back to the about layer and what I got now is my header with the page about and a red background coming from where? From the about.css. So we see that in this layout, I can put some elements. So let's say that here in about, I'm going to put a new folder and it's going to be Guillaume, okay? And inside I'm going to put a new page.tsx and here I'm just going to copy paste quickly this. Let's say that I'm going to have return uh, a div with Guillaume. Let's say that, and here it's going to be about Guillaume, okay? What's happening is that I'm using the about layout. 
and I'm using exactly this one, which is the parent of the folder Guillaume. Of course, I could go deeper and deeper, create a layout inside Guillaume, etc., etc. It would work also. I'm not going to pass on all the documentation of Next.js. There's other ways to inject a layout and nested layout. You can go check on nextjs.org. But you got to know that layouts are very useful when you want to separate the design of some pages or if you want to separate just the injection of some components, such as the header or sidebars. 